it's an early morning for me. I'm on call this week, so I've decided to get down the allotment early for me and cook up some breakfast. Kettle's on. That's why we can probably just hear to the side of me at the moment. But what am I doing for breakfast? Well, I have a bit of an idea of what I can do and cook on a barbecue. Now, what I've got, I've got some sausage meat. I'm going to form that into a, a bowl shape, I guess, would be the way to describe it. Got two of them. So I can both into a bowl shape. around that I'm going to wrap some bacon This is not really a healthy breakfast, I guess you could say. I don't care. It's a, it's a treat. Now, next, I'm gonna take some black pudding now. That's probably a bit controversial. I like black pudding, so I don't care. I'm going to just pop that inside there. And now, one of the eggs that my chickens laid this morning. I'm just going to pop that into the little well. Same with this one. And now that we'll place in the oven right on the barbecue. Same as that one. Get that cooking. Let's wash my hands quickly. I've just realised I forgot to give it a blast of pepper, so let's do that now quickly. There we go. And we'll leave that now to cook 40 minutes, I guess. So while that cooks, let's take you on a tour of the allotment. Right, we'll start this tour right at the very top. Now that's where you, I planted up sweet potatoes last week. And they're all looking like they're growing pretty well. And then just here, I did have more membrane, I've lifted that. And I've planted out some more tomatoes and some cannellini beans. Just trying to use up all the space with whatever I've got lying around. Those flowers, I don't know what they are, they were here. They all seem to be doing well. And the rhubarb across the back there. All growing well. I'm not really picking rhubarb anymore. I think we've come to the end of the season for that. Gooseberries there. They will need harvesting in a bit. Again, more rhubarb. And more gooseberries there. 
And then we've got lots of raspberries over there. And if we head over here, over towards the back, um, it's a bit weedy this area, but we've got red currants and stuff. Uh, that's not what I was trying to zoom in on. Uh, yeah, I can't really, can't really see them, but we've got lots of red currants over the back there. I mean, that's my neighbour's plot, and that's just full of weeds. So that's, this is kind of blanking it off, but nonetheless, I've got to really sort it out. I come. These strawberries, pretty much done with the strawberries now, but there's a few there, and we'll pick those in a bit. Um, I'm doing good. Nasturtiums there. They're uh, okay. Here we've got my cauliflowers and kale. We've got a few weeds amongst this at the moment, but we're working our way through the weeds. As soon as I seem to get on top of them, more come, but nonetheless, we're trying. Pumpkin here looks not too bad um, taking a lot to get going this one the other two have died off so didn't really work there these tomatoes here the crimson crush and the adicanti and the red pear they were all doing well and tying them in quite often and then just trying to keep them weeded more strawberries there and mountain magic there which needs a bit of a tidy up We cleared this bit a bit. I've left a few of these flowers, but I think they're going to come out soon because they're, they pot their seeds everywhere, those things. However, this was the shallots, and it looks like the shallots died out because of those weeds, really. My bad. A few onions here. These are, yeah, they're not bad. These were grown from seed. I'm... I'm not sure about growing them from seed, if for me personally. I think I'm going to grow them from sets in the future, just just because of it, the, the amount of effort involved in growing them from seeds and putting them on and stuff. Here we've got a load of leeks, and they're looking pretty damn good. Kind of, we can start harvesting those if we need any for finger fingerlings. These onions were the later ones to go in actually, and they seem to be doing better. Um, yeah, I mean, we've gone past the longest day, so they'll probably start dying off. That bed, bed bit is empty. Carrots here, and they are. I'm pleased with how these are looking. Let's see. That's pretty, pretty pleased with that, to say the least. And then beetroot just there, it's starting to swell up nicely. Yeah, and what have you. Towards the back there, the runner beans, they're climbing now. They're off. Again, and behind that, the comfrey, which I cut down and now sprouted back. And then towards the back there, we've got lots more potatoes. They're doing really well, actually. I need good watering. And what have you. I've tidied up this asparagus bed a bit, and that's looking a lot better, as is the rhubarb there. Uh, but that globe artichoke, it's just kind of flopped all over the place, so um, I'll be tidying that up as we get through it. These apple trees on this apple, the apples on this apple tree even, they're, yeah, they're looking good. Got a few there, decent size there. Again, strawberries down below, acting as a mulch, but got a few weeds in there. Jerusalem artichoke has just gone like mad there. Jerusalem artichoke always does well though. That's my slow bush is hidden amongst weeds, got to sort that out. That pear tree's dead. Elderflower, that's real well, elder tree, that's really grown well. This comfrey needs cutting down, that'll be a job for the next weekend. My pear tree, with my single pear in there, let's see if we can... Ah, the light's not, just not right, but... Yeah, 
Let's try from the other side in a second. And that apple tree, now that's steak, that's doing really well. No apples, but never mind. See how full that compost bin has got now with all the weeds I'm pulling out all the time. These two pumpkins here, they're going great guns. They're doing really well in there. Really pleased with those. So, peas. Now, Rufus towards the front. Really good, really well. Uh, not massive plants, but I'm getting peas out of them. And then we've got down here, we've got um, cucumbers and other, th uh, what's that one? Butternut squash. Another cucumber just kind of there. The chilies, courgette there. Yeah, peas, I'm going to harvest a load of peas there. And those marrows, the mushy peas. We'll harvest those up, see what happens. Let's see, let's see, can we see my pear from here? There we go. Just about, I'm pleased with that. These overwintered onions, they're, yeah. We're just waiting, waiting for them to start to collapse and die back. I'm harvesting what I can, when I can, when I need. I'm not complaining. Uh, this bed, I've put a couple of butternut squashes in there just to make room. Those Brussels sprouts, I don't know if you can see it very well again. But yeah, we're getting sprouts on them. That is doing well, that perennial, what I'm calling a perennial anyway, we'll see. Uh, cabbage there. It's a cauliflower I did harvested last, well a couple of weeks ago, a bit of a surprise. So uh, I'm just using the leaves to give to the chickens. But we've got another one just, just there. I think I'm going to have to shade that from the sun a bit though. Somehow. And then we've got a couple of cabbages. In fact, that one there I'm going to pick, going to harvest and take home. I think that's ready. Elephant garlic there, I'm almost ready for harvesting. But I've, just in front here I've put in some my PSB kale, super two in one. I have no idea what it is, but we'll see how it does. And then I've put some Brussels sprouts in there. They're looking like they need a bit more water, so I'll give those a bit of watering in. And then I've got a bit more garlic to harvest. Again, weeds have taken over a bit. Shallot bed, yeah, they're pretty much ready for harvesting. What have you? More potatoes, I'm going to start harvesting those soon. Those beans there, they're not doing much, but I think they'll just suddenly shoot along in growth. Trying to clear that raspberry bed there, but it's problematic to say the least. More potatoes, these ones are doing better I think, so uh, we'll slowly work away from them. Sweet on there has really shot on in growth over the last week. Pleased with that. As of these leeks, they're looking good. They'll be ready for harvesting. Well, we can start harvesting some, I guess, if we want some small ones, but I like to leave them for a bit longer. French beans there. We're going to uh, have a check over and see if we've got any beans ready for harvesting. In fact, I can see a few, so we'll have those. Then we've got another courgette just there. And that courgette there, I think, is ready. So I'll pick that and take that home. Oh, dude, lovely. So over there, we've got the gooseberries, and I'll pick a load of gooseberries in a bit. They're doing well. More gooseberries there. And uh, hazel. Cherry trees. Done with cherries. Really pleased with this apple tree. It's my cider apple tree. Um, I'm going to be making plenty of cider this year. It's, it's just full of apples. So uh, I've, I've decided not to thin them because these are for juicing or turning into cider. But there's just so many. And this grapevine. Just here. We've got flowers on those, so we may still get grapes out of them once I've tidied it up. 
had a bit of a tidy up in my shed but what I did get for the other day is this fork and spade can't really see it there can we let's get it into a bit of place probably not right there either but yeah anyway got our fork and spade Wilkinson's wooden hair wooden shafts looks fairly decent two pound each so I can't complain about that anyway smells like my breakfast is ready I'm going to check on that and have a have a bite to eat and then uh, following that we'll take you on a tour of my home plot Beautiful. Right, well, guys, we've just had a, a very welcome shower, so that's watered everything for me. Um, we've just got a bit of a break in the shower, so have a quick tour of what's going on at home now herbs i'm harvesting herbs and drying them and using them they're doing really well at the moment really happy with them the uh, lemon verbena there really has grown well this year uh, i've learned to can that back really does pay off on that one so pleased with that and that mint over the back there that just performs amazingly I've cut a load to um, hang up and dry in my uh, uh, little shed. If we come over to here, these raspberry bushes, they've, um, they came over onto the deck, but hopefully you can see there was quite a few raspberries on there. All are being picked up and uh, used and what have you as we go through them. Once they're done, I'll be cutting those back and try and get back to the rosemary bushes there. That rhubarb is just phenomenally good. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's head into my little greenhouse. Now, these are just growing like mad down here. I haven't got them to could go as straight as I like. I tr keep trying every year, but it just doesn't happen. But I have got tomatoes growing there. Soon they'll be going red and uh, I'll be harvesting them. Now, if I just step in, I've got my bucket. There we go. My melon down here is just doing really well. I'm pleased with that. We'll see how it goes as we get on. And that cucumber got to tie that in actually but otherwise that's doing well although it's got a bit of a uh, coloration on the leaves so i'm um, not sure what that's about and then we've got a few down the bottom here we've got a few chilies they're doing really well pleased with them and a few aubergines towards the back also doing well so really things in there are coming along nicely this potato i'm going to see well, how much potato I've got in there next week. Um, it was grown in the uh, greenhouse. Really, I could have harvested it as early as May, but I've left it because I haven't needed any. In, and, uh, but we'll, we'll see how that does next week. Okay. So, we'll take you down here. Now, the pots, my, I want to um, go through my saffron pots soon and sort those out. These are these ones here. Over here, got just 
few plants that I need in homes and things and I've potted on these uh, framberries and bubble berries to try and get more plants out of those they're doing well those blueberries they've got some nice blueberries on them they've actually been doing really well been having lots and lots of blueberries so I'm happy with that and then we've just got more and more pots I'm going to go through those over the next few weeks and see what is actually worth having and what's not uh, pomegranate it's put on plenty of new growth it's doing well as is the peach since hacking hacking back all the bad leaves it's yeah it's done all right not as many leaves as i would have liked it needs a good weed in as well but never mind and my fig tree there just does awesome and then down towards about behind the eucalyptus is uh, some cranberries and they're actually producing some little fruits that aren't ripe yet but nonetheless i'm happy with those more blueberries these are the ones you see me put on they're doing fantastic that one's not still not getting anything out of there never mind we'll come across these pots are basically empty i'll be giving those to the chickens to eat those lettuce there are actually bolted if we zoom in you should be able to see yeah they're bolted so uh, they're going to be given to the chickens so i've had plenty of them plenty of leaves out of them we kind of pick them as we need them so i can't complain about that and we'll head into my box again more lettuce picking those as we need them they're doing well we've got another soil growing there and we've got some spring onions towards the back there everything's doing well there so towards the back there i've got a load of wood for a project later on which I'll come and discuss about where as and when. Right, we'll head into this bit. Now, in my last tour, I said about finding other spaces to grow stuff. Well, I've put some of my spare plants just on top of here. I don't mind if they grow all over the place. I'm pretty happy with that. They're just bonuses, really. But everything seems to be doing pretty damn good. Uh, that pumpkin's doing pretty well, although it's a bit slow. A couple of the other melons and stuff have died off, but and the okra. We've got a row of chilies there. They're doing pretty good. And a row of peppers, which are also doing well. Then we'll come to these tomatoes, which again, they haven't grown straight. They haven't done what they're doing. These two are pecking at my feet. Anyway, yeah, tomatoes, they've, I, I've probably planted them too close together as well and stuff like that. This little bit, I did put some plants in there, some tomato plants, but something chewed them up. You can guess what. <laughs> these plants, I've got to tie these in actually. These are my more tomato plants, but these are the um, Heinz ones. Uh, yeah, they're not doing bad. Got a few cucumbers and stuff there they're all doing really well they're just hidden by the tomatoes because the tomatoes have just taken off over the last few weeks yeah various little things there put a pumpkin in this one and as you can see that's just grown pretty mad so that's pretty good i'm pretty happy with that i'll head into here Uh, I've put a couple of, we've got chilies and peppers and aubergines up along here. That's the second set for the IKEA hydroponics kit that I'll show you soon. Got some onions drying in those things just to, after harvesting. You've probably seen a lot of these lights lately. Well, I've got a set, I think they're awesome, really happy with them. I've set those up in here. Although I've got them tidy up the wires. I've got that garlic hanging there. And, there. and here is the IKEA hydroponics kit. That's yeah, they're they're 
going to be going on to the next stage, um, which I'll show you next week. But yeah, that's they're looking really good. So I'm just going to flip you around quickly. There we go. All right. So there we go. Um, tour of the allotment, tour of the garden, and um, I've done my, my breakfast. So I'm going to wrap up again for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate it. Um, any comments, suggestions, anything like that, let let me know down below. Um, I know there's a few of you that normally uh, leave me comments. Really appreciate it. All you guys love to hear from you. I really do. So, yeah. That's it really. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.